الرحيم قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون والذين هم للزكاة فاعلون والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون إلا على أزواجهم أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم غير ملومين فمن ابتغى وراء ذلك فأولئك هم العادون والذين هم لأماناتهم وعهدهم راعون والذين هم على صلواتهم يحافظون أولئك هم الوارثون الذين يرثون الفردوس هم فيها خالدون صدق الله العظيم as well as our dear friends 
from Europe, directors, the vice directors, and their representatives who are with us today for their support and presence. Thank you all so much for coming all the way to be here with us for this historic occasion. It is not often that we are able to gather together in this way, but we come together today bound by a common goal and we hope to achieve fruitful outcomes. Ladies and gentlemen, AARU, the Association of the Arab Universities, is a non-governmental organization <coughs> that has an independent legal character which was founded in 1964 upon a resolution issued by the Arab League. And that time there was a meeting in Benghazi, Libya. Five years later, in 1969, the first secretary of our association was met in Egypt. In Egypt. <coughs> Today we have the president of Alexandria with us here. They met that time in 1969, and we had only 23 universities in the Arab world. Today, we have more than 260 Arab member universities in our association. And this association <coughs> seeks to achieve several goals, such as enhancing cooperation <coughs> among, among the Arab universities and coordinating their efforts, cooperating with counterpart <coughs> associations and institutions to raise the level of higher education and to promote joint research projects, supporting and encouraging mutual student activities among the Arab universities, and also promoting quality assurance and accreditation among Arab universities. <coughs> to achieve those goals, ARU works through its affiliated councils and centers that are hosted by different number of universities, such as the Arab Council for Training of Arab Students, the Arab Council for Health Studies and Scientific Research, the Arab Council for Students Activities, the Center for Depositing University Theses and Journals, the Fund <coughs> Supporting Palestinian Universities, the Council for Quality Assurance and Accreditation, and the last one which was established two years ago, the Arab Scientific Research Fund, and also 21 societies of counterpart faculties of Arab universities. <coughs> ARU has been working throughout the past years to enhance cooperation with all partners in the world who are concerned in higher education sector to exchange views, strategies, experience, and practices. The focus is to promote countries' collaboration in areas of mutual interest through networking and partnerships. I believe that this is a great opportunity to be employed to achieve several goals. As a result of a European Commission funded campus project entitled Leadership in Higher Education Management for MENA, the Middle East and North Africa area, <coughs> coordinated by Cardiff Metropolitan University. And today here we have Professor Tony Champion, the president of Cardiff Metropolitan University. <coughs> and the official agreement to establish our league was initiated in 2012 by signing MOU between Cardiff Metropolitan University and our association. Our lean is a bridge between European and MENA universities. Our association has been working as an umbrella organization of the universities in the Arab world 
to represent their interests and to encourage and foster cooperation in higher education. Therefore, this network shall be established as a substructure of our association and one of the objectives and direct deliverable and outcome of Tempest project, building capacity for university management that will work to promote and enhance of Arab universities in all areas of their operations based in close interactions with our partners in Europe. The network shall become a platform for all major issues that universities are confronted with. Therefore, the topics to be dealt with <coughs> shall not be limited to certain, to certain areas of university operations. However, there are some topics that are of immediate relevance and shall be covered by the activities of this network. Those topics are mobility of staff and students, joint research, leadership and university management, internationalization, quality, community services. Due to all such challenges, our association began recently focusing on the importance of integration and coordination between Arab universities and universities around the world. Therefore, internationalization has moved high <coughs> in our agenda at AARU. And most universities aim at preparing students for a globalized world and helping faculty members stay up to date in their disciplines. The idea was translated through <coughs> several activities and events, such as 2012, in October, we organized the first Arab-Malaysian <coughs> Global Higher Education Summit, which was held at the Islamic Science University of Malaysia, you see him. And the second summit of the Arab Malaysian Conference will be held at Mansoura University, hopefully by the end of this year. Also, the first Arab Conference on Higher Education was held at Barcelona University during the last May, May 2013 with the help of our partner, the European As University Association. And the second Arab Euro Conference on Higher Education will be hosted by Princess Sumaya University in Amman, <coughs> inshallah, next June. Also, we are working with our <coughs> brothers in Turkey, with Istanbul University, as well as Istanbul Medina University to have the first Turkish Arab Conference in Higher Education just in two months from now, in the 26th to the 28th of April. And here we are. <coughs> Our partners from Turkey, they are here. Professor Hamid is here and with his colleagues to attend this launching of this network. And we are delighted to start with the Arab Turkish Conference, inshallah, in April. And also, we are, we are going to organize the first Arab German University at Kibbutz Technical University in Germany. And here we have the we have the rector of Kibbutz Technical University. I don't know where he's sitting now. <coughs> yes, he's sitting here. We are the rector of here, <coughs> Professor Razer. We are more than welcome. And also we are working with the French universities as well as with the Greek and the American universities in order to have good collaboration with our partners <coughs> all over the world. <coughs> Besides this, we are working so hard with the European Commission concerning several projects. With Erasmus Mundus project, such, such as al Fahri, the Peace Program for Excellence Academic Cooperation Exchange, the Hermes Development of a Higher Education and Research Area, in Europe and the Middle East, 
as well as many topless projects such as Aquium, enhancing quality management in Jordan in Jordanian universities, and Bukam, building capacity for university management in the ENPI South region, and also Reconal, knowledge of recognition procedures in South countries, and also the mimic modernization of institutional management of internationalization in southern countries, and <coughs> the Middle, to Middle East and North Africa and others, and also we have mutual collaboration with our partner of the European University Association as the, as the Magna Carta Observatory, and here we have the president of the Magna Carta <coughs> Observatory. Therefore, AARU contributes in the African higher education harmonization and through so many projects. In closing, let me thank you all again for your time, emphasizing that we at AARU welcome and support and encourage enhancing cooperation with regional and international bodies in favor of raising the level of education and enhancing sustainable development to achieve progress. We, of course, we need to have collective efforts and plans. Distinguished guests, may I just thank you all, of, of all of our participants, for giving up their time and putting in the effort to be with us today. Wishing you all good friends who are coming from abroad to enjoy the beautiful sun of Jordan and to take a look at some of the Jordanian historical sites. God bless you and thank you so much. Thank you, Professor Abouraou. Uh, now I'd like to welcome Mr. David Locke, Director of International Projects at the Leadership Foundation for Higher Education. Your Excellency, Excellencies, Vice Chancellors, Rectors, Presidents, <coughs> Secretary General, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here to add the congratulations of the Leadership Foundation to the Association of Arab Universities, the British Council, Tempest, and Cardiff Metropolitan University on the formation of the Association has already established a distinguished record for its scientific meetings and it was a personal and a professional delight when the decision was reached to extend this to <coughs> leadership activities. This is a very special day for the association and this year is a very special year for the Leadership Foundation. It was 10 years ago that it was established in response to concerns that the leadership of the British universities was not as effective as it might be. 10 years on, we have 95% of the universities in the UK, that's 150, voluntarily in membership of the Leadership Foundation. Internationally, we are working with 32 different countries, sometimes at a national level, supporting the introduction of higher education strategies and sometimes with international or with individual universities uh, giving confidence <coughs> to senior leaders, having them work with us and building <coughs> partnerships with universities in the UK. We have been especially pleased 
to be involved in regional initiatives, including two organized by Cardiff Metropolitan University under the Tempest banner. And it is from the scoping activities involved in those that much <coughs> of the agenda for our leadership work together has been formed. I was very pleased when last June our arrangements were formalized through your Secretary General and my Chief Executive signing a, a memorandum of association, <coughs> particularly appropriately at Cardiff Metropolitan University in June. The first outcome of that memorandum is going to follow immediately after this opening. It will be a three-day workshop for senior leaders across your region on the theme of internationalization. From a survey which we have done, we find some very encouraging <coughs> developments about the ways in which universities are responding to this challenge, but also a hunger to do more and to relate more effectively with universities in other countries for the benefits of staff and students. And we are looking forward to some very tangible outcomes from this workshop that will help to take that agenda forward in the spirit of the association. Other topics which will be followed <coughs> are those of the women in leadership, both for women aspiring to take leadership positions and women already in leadership positions to enable them to be more effective. 